So I told you after SHOT Show I was going to have some really cool stuff to show you. One of the companies I connected with this year was Nikon. And in this video, we're going to take a, a look at the really cool Nikon Monarch 7i VR Laser Range Finder. That's coming up next on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So if you are a hunter, you know how important it is to make sure that you know the range to your target. Whether you're using a firearm or archery or even a slingshot, um, it's just real important to know how far you, your target is so you can make the proper adjustments to your aiming. So the folks at Nikon were kind enough to send me one of their Monarch 7i VR laser range finders and the VR stands for vibration resistant. If you've ever used a range finder before, a laser range finder, you know that it is, especially at a magnification, this thing's got like a 6x magnification on it, that is very difficult to uh, to keep your, hit your target whenever you're shaking around, whether you're shaking because you're cold and you're shivering or the wind's blowing or you're just really excited because you see this monster buck out there or whatever it is you're shooting at. Well, the folks at Nikon have really done a great job of solving that problem with their optical vibration reduction system. It actually reduces vibration in, in the um, viewfinder from any kind of shaking, but in addition to that, it also somehow simultaneously aligns the laser so that the laser is stays in focus with your target which basically gives you a very quick stable target acquisition unless you just read your, your distance to the target real real quickly as soon as you push the button uh, really great system there it, it, it works very well so let's talk about the specs this thing really quick i'll tell you how to operate it and i'll try to see if we can get some through the lens shots on the camera i don't know how they do that on tv it's really tricky to do that but anyway um this thing has a long eye relief so basically if I'm looking at it here, you put pretty about right here is where you want it. You don't have to cram it up against your eyeball. You actually give it about an inch away. So it works okay with my glasses on, actually. I mean, it gives you a distance reading from eight to a thousand yards. It's also um, switchable from yards to meters. It's displayed in 0.1 yard or 0.1 meter increments. The distance readings are accurate to plus or minus a half a yard or meter at under 700 yards and plus or minus a yard or meter at over 700 yards. It also features Nikon's tri-target technology which basically gives you two ranging modes depending on your situation. You can either use first target priority which allows you to focus on a target as small as a fence post or you can use distance priority mode which displays the range to the furthest target among a group of targets measured. One more thing is pretty cool it has advanced ID technology which basically means that um, and you can set this to be on or off. You can set it for horizontal or actual distance. But basically that means if you're looking up or down a slope up to 89 degrees, which is almost straight up or straight down, it will compensate for that internally and it'll tell you the uh, actual horizontal distance as opposed to the actual distance to the target. Because if you remember your geometry, if you're basically looking at a triangle, then the uh, hypotenuse is longer <laughs> than the uh, either one of the right angle legs. So basically, if you're measuring the actual hypotenuse of the triangle, then this thing will compensate and give you the horizontal leg, which is pretty cool. And you can turn that on or off if you want the actual distance you got it. If you want to measure down a hill but see how far this way it actually is, then you can use that too. Whether that's got a hunting applications or just applications for helping you figure stuff out. Pretty cool, I think. Again, this thing goes up to a thousand yards. And if you're not a hunter, by the way, this, is, this could come in really, really handy on the old golf course. So anyway, let me tell you how this thing works. It's, um, it's, it's really complicated, so it may take me a minute to explain it. But basically, you look through it, you push the button on top, crosshairs pop up, you put the crosshairs on your target and you let go of it, and you got the range. Like I said, you might need to really read the instructions for that one. You can also have it set to where you can just hold the button down, you look at your different targets and it'll range them all. So if, for example, if you're looking at a group of deer and one of them just has got your name all over it and that's really the one you're looking for, you can move them around from one of the others to check all the different ranges. It's a real handy feature set on the Monarch 7 IVR. Um, this is a very, very nice range finder. The price on this thing is around 400 bucks on Amazon. It's waterproof, so you don't have to worry about using this in the rain. Again, again, you can set the uh, set it to yards or meters. You can set it to whether you have distance priority or first target priority. And there's probably some more stuff you can set it to. But really and truly, right out of the box, it just works. And it also comes with a really nice case here. You just put it in the case and um, nice little elastic closure. Really easy to deal with. A little carabiner here. There's probably a notice somewhere in the packaging that says this is not for climbing. <laughs> there always is, right? Very lightweight. It's got a belt loop on it here. You can put it on your belt and really easy to get in and out, even if you got gloves on or whatever. And um, wow, you are really far away. 
I can tell you like all Nikon optics, what I'm really impressed by this is the brightness and clarity of looking through this. I'm gonna do my best to get, get it on the camera here for you, but I'm telling you, it's really, really difficult to get everything lined up where it works right on the camera. I just hadn't, haven't got that part of the puzzle figured out yet. We'll show you those now, but as you can see, it's really hard to, um, to get this thing lined up with the, with the camera. Basically, you push the button on top, you put the crosshairs on the target, and it reads your distance. Although there may have been some rocket science involved in the design of this thing, it's definitely not rocket science to use. Chuck Norris never learns. He knows. So if you're a hunter or even a golfer, this could come in really, really handy. I like the fact that it's, it's very lightweight, uses one CR2 three volt lithium battery. Basically, the battery just goes in here, has a little clip here, uh, with a, you can put a um, like a lanyard on it. You can hang it around your neck. Oh, I didn't tell you also, it's, it's got an adjustable diopter so you can get a really good focus with your eyes if you wear glasses or whatever. Uh, just a really very nice, very useful piece of gear for a hunter or an outdoorsman. I tell you, this is coming really handy on the golf course too. So there we go. That's, that's pretty much the specs and a, a whole bunch of rambling about this Monarch 7i VR laser rangefinder from the folks at Nikon. And I gotta say, it's, it's got some cool features. You know, it is very lightweight, it's waterproof, it's got that vibration reduction, but but what I'm, I guess what I'm most impressed about it is, is just absolutely the simplicity of it. It just plain works. You just push the button and you got your range. Um, not a lot of fiddling, fiddling around to do with it, which if you're hunting and there's a target out there that you need to check the range to, then you really don't have time to fool around. You need simple and effective, and that is exactly what this Nikon Monarch is. So once again, thanks to the folks at Nikon for sending me this so I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing, for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. And thank you so very much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.